What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be focused on the 5-2 defense. We're going to send some man pressure here. I like to send man pressure uh, on those short yard situations where we're trying to just man up for literally like two seconds and get off the field. What we like to use for the man pressure is the pinch play. Uh, what we want to do with this is we want to uh, base the line, shift our linebackers to the right, shift our D-line to the left. Um, we're going to crash our D-line out. We're going to re-blitz Irvin. And then if we want to, we can... Reblitz right over the A gap, or we can just put him in a zone and sit him over the A gap. This is going to give us left edge pressure, uh, just like out of our base play. Now, what we want to do though is we want to also send two ways. So, if they block a running back here, so if they block Miller or something, we're going to uh, just globally we're going to globally reblitz our right outside linebacker here. Uh, and the idea here is you still have everybody manned up. You're gonna you're using Miller. If Miller goes out on a route, that's you. If he doesn't go out on a route, that's not you. And again, this is probably the only time we're going to, uh, you see there he's going to pick up one edge, but the other edge will come free. So here you see Miller's going to stay in a block, and we're still going to get that heavy pressure off that left edge, which is why I really like about it. The only way to truly stop this pressure is to block both guys. And if you want to um, send pressure that will get in against this, what you can do is, is you can sit with right over the A-gap, and when you see that the guy is there then you can just loop around with right up the, up the B gap if you want or whatever but the idea here is a lot of times they're not going to block multiple guys like that um, it's very rare so that's the basics of the man blitz guys I like to press out of this. this is the only play that I press out of and the reason I like to press out of it is because of the fact that it's for that fourth and two fourth and three situation where you know they're going to probably pass the ball uh, real quick let me just see here so they block crib, you're going to loop around in the B gap, put some heavy pressure on them, and force that pocket back into the end zone there. So that's the idea here with this base pressure. Um, most of our pressures can be picked up with just blocking a halfback. So we like to have this two-way heat that if they do block a running back, you see they're still going to get pressure in off that edge. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys next week. Make sure you watch the gameplay to understand how this offense and defense works in uh, full game, and be sure to come back next week for another great defensive scheme of the week. Thanks for watching. Give me feedback in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. How was the scheme this week, and how was the video and whatnot, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.